If you are creating digital products or doing professional graphic design work, you will need to know how to layer elements in your design. Layering photos, text, and other images and elements on top of each other to form your final design will be something you need to know how to do. Layering these elements only works if the elements have a transparent background so that you can layer them on top of each other. Images with transparent backgrounds are useful if you're layering things, if you want to add a watermark to your photos, if you want to do that for social media, if you're doing a design, you'll want to have different layers. It's not hard to do this but you do need to know how to create a transparent background. So this video will show you how to create transparent backgrounds so that you can layer your elements and make the best most professional looking design possible. To start we will want to create a new design in Canva. I usually choose a slightly larger size but this will work with any size or shape. This technique still works. You just want to start with a fresh clean background and then you'll add the elements that you want in your design that will be the focus of the show that you'll want the transparent background for. This can be anything from text to an element to a graphic design, something that you want to be the star that you're going to use as a layer on top of another design element. So for me I'm just going to do a quick text design that I would use on something for maybe social media on my other account. So once I've adjusted it and made it how I want, I then go up to download. The download button has the little downward facing arrow and it says download in the upper right corner. Then there under file type, you want to select PNG. To have a transparent background, you have to have a PNG file. So all of these other ones will not work if you want a transparent background, it has to be a PNG. Next, you will have to select transparent background. There is a checkbox that says transparent background. It is in the pro version, the work version of Canva. If you don't pay for Canva, then this will not be an option for you. Canva is really not that expensive in terms of what it offers. So this is one of the features that if you are paying for it, it is worth the extra money because you can do things like this very easily and very quickly. I'll leave a link down below to Canva to the pro version for a free trial if you want to use it and try this out. But you do have to select this box and then that is the final thing to do. You just hit the download button and your transparent background image will download. Next we're going to look at how this image looks and how it looks if you don't do that step and you have a white background. Then I will show you how you can use the transparent image in Canva itself once you've already created it. Here I've opened the image after downloading it. You can see it has kind of a grayish background when I open it, but in Canva it has that white background that is the canvas design. So let me show you what it looks like if you don't select the transparent background. It's just going to give you that white background as your image. There will be no transparency. So I'll open both of them and show you side by side what it looks like if you've done both a transparent and non-transparent image. So the one on the right here is the one where I did not select transparency, so it does not have a transparent background. That means it just has that white as a background. So if I try to use it to layer, it's going to have a white box around what I want to show. Then on the left side is the transparent image. And when I open it in preview, which is what I'm using on my Mac, it shows kind of a grayish background because there's nothing as actual background. That just is what the transparency looks like if there's nothing else there. Here I'm naming them transparent and not transparent just so that when I use them or upload them you'll see the difference. The next step once you've created a transparent background for your image is to go ahead and re-upload it to Canva so that you can use it in future designs. So I will just upload both the transparent and the not transparent image so that you can see when I upload the image with the transparent background, you can see that the only thing you see over here in the preview in the side is the text. That means there is no background, so there is no background that's going to show when I use this for a layer. However, when I upload the non-transparent one, you can see that it has that white box. So let's create a new design and show you kind of how this works when you are doing the layers. Like any design, I start with a background that is clear. It's just a Canva new design canvas. And then I'm going to add a photo from their photo selection as my main image, as my background for this design. Then I'm going to go back to the images I made. So adding this one, this is the not transparent one. So there's that white box. Then in comparison, when I add the transparent background image, there's nothing there. So all you see is the star of the show that we made in our first design. So that text, which is what we wanted to have with the transparent background, when we add it to this design, the transparency makes it so that we are able to layer. Whereas with the other one, without 
a transparent background, there's that white background image that just does not work when you're trying to layer designs and make something look really nice. With that transparent background image, we are able to layer it on top of this new image. And then when we download our new design, it's going to look really nice. It's going to look professional. And this is how you can create digital products and things like that. Just different designs with layers of images. Transparent backgrounds are very important for this reason. And Canva makes it super easy to do. I hope this tutorial helps you create the best designs possible.